the Morehouse Parish Row Rice Variety Trial is off to a great start. It has been a busy week in the field with herbicide and fertilizer going out, stand counts on all varieties, and an irrigation flush taking place. On June 15th, a herbicide application was made. The herbicide application per acre included three quarts of rice bow, one quart of facet, four tenths of an ounce of halosulfuron, 18 ounces of command, and one quarter of crop oil. Weed pressure was light, but nut sedge, crab grass, barnyard grass, signal grass, and a few mare's tails were present. Herbicidal activity was already showing up on June 17th. On June 16th, a fertilizer application was made. The fertilizer application per acre was 50 pounds of ammonium sulfate and 125 pounds of urea. Contained was the urease inhibitor used on this application. On June 17th, stand counts were taken in each of the seven varieties. And for reference, a stand count was taken from the portion of the field, not in the variety trial. The field was irrigated the same day and began to retain water. Growth stage at this time is early tiller. The first variety in the trial is chenier. Chenier is a conventional variety that is a high quality, long grain rice variety that's been around for many years. In the trial plot, it averaged 21 plants per square foot or 16 plants per row foot. The second variety in the trial is diamond. Diamond is a conventional variety that is a conventional height, early, long grain rice variety. It has shown excellent yield potential, but has, some, has shown somewhat lower head rice yields than other currently grown long grain rice lines. In the plot, it averaged 22 plants per square foot or 17 plants per row foot. The third variety in the trial is CLL17. CLL17 is a new early season semi-dwarf long grain conventional clear field rice variety with very good yield potential with excellent blast resistance. In the trial plot, it averaged 17 plants per square foot or 13 plants per row foot. The fourth variety in the trial is CLL16. CLL16 is a long grain conventional clear field rice variety with very good yield potential and excellent vigor. In the trial plot, it averaged 21 plants per square foot or 16 plants per row foot. The fifth variety in the trial is CLL-153. CLL-153 is an early semi-dwarf long grain conventional clear field rice variety that displays excellent yield potential with good seedling vigor. In the trial plot, it averaged 20 plants per square foot or 15 plants per row foot. The last two varieties in the plot and the remainder of the field was planted in the hybrid varieties, planted at a lower seeding rate. One benefit of the hybrids is the phenomenal tillering ability. Even at early tillering stage, these hybrids in the plot have already shown advanced tillering. The sixth variety in the trial is CLXL745. CLXL745 is a very high yielding long grain hybrid with resistance to new path herbicide for use in clear field production system. In the trial plot, it averaged six plants per square foot or five plants per row foot. The seventh variety in the trial is CL7521 Full Page. 7521 Full Page is an early high yielding IMI herbicide tolerant hybrid. In the trial plot, it averaged seven plants per square foot or 5.5 plants per row foot. The remainder of the field is planted in Gemini 214 CL. Gemini is an early clear field hybrid with excellent yield and fair milling quality. The remainder of the field averaged eight plants per square foot or 6.3 plants per row foot.